What's up guys? Welcome back. So, I know it's been a while since I made a YouTube video, but I have been fairly consistent on Instagram. So if you guys didn't know, I have an Instagram which I'm more active on. Um, I still post about my life as a physical therapist. Uh, so if you want to check that out, it's instagram.com slash fitwoo. Lately, I've had a student for the past 11 weeks. So almost three months, I had a student. Um, it is her second to last rotation. So she was done with all her schoolwork. Yeah, it was my first time as a CI. So overall, it was an awesome experience. She was a really good student. So my student embodied all the qualities that I'm looking for as a CI. So uh, she is very eager to learn, willing to learn. So I think that no matter what rotation clinical experience you're on, um, even if it's not something you're as passionate about, there's always something you can learn from them, um, from the CI, uh, from the setting. And she's also very professional, uh, which is important. You'd be surprised. Some, I've seen some students uh, come late uh, multiple times. Uh, my student, she always arrives um, at least 30 minutes before, and she prepares her um, chart reviews and every, does everything that she needs to. Um, so at 8 a.m., we're ready to go um, see our first patient, and she's prepared for the rest of the day. Also, she was very receptive of feedback. Um, I try to give her feedback after every patient. Um, if there is something that needs to be addressed, any, any, uh, any tips I could give her, um, anything that needs to be corrected. And um, she was always very receptive, um, and which shows that you're willing to learn, you're willing to get better. From the very beginning, I made it clear that uh, communication is very important between, between CI and, and student. So I feel like that's uh, something that needs to be discussed so you know uh, the grading criteria um, for the student throughout, throughout her internship. Uh, so she knows what to expect too. And if anything, if she, there's something bothering her, uh, she could always talk to me about it. If she needs more practice uh, in certain areas, uh, I can always set, a, set aside some more time to practice with her. And if she was more interested in seeing some um, different specialty areas that we offer, like amputees or vestibular rehab, I could schedule her to shadow another therapist um, during our cancel patient hours and just um, talking through things and really work things out. So to make sure that she has the best experience that she can have while she's here. And another thing is safety. Safety is very important and my, my student was safe throughout her rotation, uh, even though she was uh, a little bit shorter, closer to five foot. Uh, so uh, performing certain transfers on six, four guys or um, even taller, bigger patients can sometimes be difficult, but she always knew if she needed help, she can always ask the tech and direct kind of the, the direct treatment as needed. And also, um, she did need a little bit more practice in the beginning, but uh, she always asked to uh, practice some more max transfers on the slide board or uh, different transfers that she's not used to because she hasn't had uh, a rotation in like neural setting in inpatient or outpatient. Uh, she's only had an outpatient rotation, so. And my student had a good foundational knowledge um, on the common diagnoses that we see, uh, Parkinson's, stroke, uh, spinal cord injury patients, um, multiple sclerosis, and uh, just like the basic presentation, what they usually present with. Uh, she, she knew all of that. My students' treatment ideas, uh, evaluations after some practice was very solid. I, I only gave her supervision toward the end of our internship and uh, she was really pushing herself every session too. She didn't always do the same treatment. Uh, she always tried to switch it up and try to think of ways to make the treatment better, So, which is so important, um, always pushing yourself and always learning. So, I uh, hope you guys take something away from uh, me talking about my experience as a CI clinical instructor for the first time. And uh, if you guys have any questions, you can leave it in the comments below. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Give it a thumbs up.